Hello, in this video we will make the UVs for our level amp. First of all, we must assign the materials for every part. Let's take the base, go to the material tab, new, let's give it a name like base. We can also switch to the material preview mode to actually see our materials. Let's give it a color like blue. It doesn't matter which one you choose, it's just for uh, differentiation purposes. Then uh, let's take the top cap. Let's call it something like top cap. Okay, I'll give it a green. For the glass itself, I'll call it glass and maybe a gray stone and for the meta balls we can add uh, you can call it like emissive balls the material and then we can assign the same materials simply select the remaining meta balls without the one without the material then control left click the meta ball with the material click on this arrow and uh, copy material to select it and here we go we have the same material for uh, every meta ball okay now for the uv part let's jump into select the base and jump into edit mode because we must be in edit mode for the uvs the modifier is not applied if uh, the shape, uh, the base shape is uh, uh, very different from your finished shape with the subdivision surface applied, like uh, I'll give you an example, like in this case, okay, where we have a cube and with the subdivision surface it becomes a sphere, then uh, in that case uh, you should apply something like one or two division based on uh, your mesh obviously to get closer to a final shape while retaining a, a low amount of triangles however in our case here the base as you can see with a subdivision it's more or less equal the same the glass same thing it's just smoother and the top cap it changed a bit but uh, it is not really a problem it's just uh, smoother and the meta balls uh, the subdivision uh, surface is not applied to them because uh, it doesn't work so let's uh, start uv mapping i went back to the normal solid mode display go into edge selection mode and as you can see if i select everything with the a key now here i have my uh, default uvs First of all, let's click on the arrow on the top right, overlays, enable the stretching display. There are two types of stretching, angle and era based. The one you should use is the angle based. I also like to work with the stretching enable because uh, it's uh, more pleasant to look at. If you want to have the UVs always displayed uh, on the left viewport you can click on this uh, icon here and even when you are not uh, selecting all the object uh, they will be still displayed let's isolate the mesh and let's start uh, marking some seams i will select usually you want to select uh, the edges uh, where there is uh, a change of uh, direction on the surface for example here this is a good edge loop to mark as a seam because here we have a flat plane then we have a 90 degree angle and we have the other the other mesh so this will be a good edge loop then we can also mark for example this and then i will mark this one this one I'm looking at the edge loops, as I said before, where there is a tip changing of direction or angle. This one. Okay, 
let's mark these edges as seams so u key and mark seam we can also enable the live unwrap so we automatically unwrap the mesh as we go then select every faces with the a key u key again unwrap let's open up the properties for the unwrap method angle based and conformal angle based is the best one it's a bit slower conformal is the classic one but we get some distortion as you can see here so angle base is usually better i say usually because it's not always the case fill holes enable yes correct aspect to take the aspect ratio into account yes use subsurface modifier this is useful uh, if uh, you have a subdivision surface modifier and you're working with like maybe a quality set set like three quality setting but i don't recommend it because uh, you sometimes it gives problems and uh, in most cases uh, you will you will have uh, overlapping uvs it's not very precise then we have a margin uh, which is the spacing between UV islands we can increase it a little bit like 0.01 it seems smaller here but if, if we zoom in you can clearly see there is a lot of space here so it's fine this is to avoid overlapping UVs because remember this is the 3D mesh projected into a 2D space so when you are going if you have overlapping UV islands the textures uh, will be messed up okay I think that's pretty good you should uh, try to avoid placing seams like this because they will be super visible unless you know that the object will be like you place a seam here and the object will be seen only from this side let's uh, UV map the glass same thing let's try finding the edges where there is a change in the direction or change in angle also this one mark seam and it should be automatically unwrap we have some distortion however this is glass so it doesn't really matter because it will be transparent the best way will be to place a seam that runs along here but uh, i won't do that now for a top cap we can the inside here and then here here and uh, okay let's try something like this mark sim okay it's pretty good you can also yeah i don't like placing it uh, on the bevel here like this because it will be more visible compared to a um, almost straight face so i think it's quite good this is practically the end the metaballs doesn't need any uvs because they are a particular mesh and they also be an emissive material so if you enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content of the channel if you have any question comment below and i'll see you in the next one in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire but it's no use cause you can't stop it from shining through it's true baby let the light